Let's start this video with a thought provoking question. Why do sharks rule the ocean? No, orcas don't rule the ocean and we'll get to why. But I do want you to think about that for a moment. Why do sharks rule the ocean and keep ecosystems in balance? I think the human tendency to tunnel vision in on what catches our attention the most often prevents us from seeing things for what they are. Let's take sharks, for example. No, I'm not talking about how they're portrayed. Believe me, that's coming up in later videos. What I'm talking about is when mentioning sharks in regards to other animals, we will often call them top predators. While yes, there are a number of species that are truly top predators. Your makos, white sharks, tiger sharks, hammerheads, etc. Most sharks are actually a step below that on the food web. Contrary to popular belief, the vast majority of sharks are mid-tier predators, or mesopredators, if you will, meaning they're one level below top predators. Your black tip reef sharks, your gray reef sharks, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, and so on. Now, to be clear, this doesn't make their role any less important, and we'll get to that. In fact, if we want to take things a step further, most of the sharks I've named in this video aren't actually what we've dubbed typical sharks. That's right, this isn't a typical shark. Neither is this, or even this. This is a typical shark. Your deep water sharks, your dogfish, and your cat sharks. Those are actually what your typical shark is. But most people don't know this because we're all focused on the white shark and its relatives. Mostly because of Jaws and because it's one of three and a half species that Shark Week covers. Now make no mistake, I love the white shark, and I'm sure all of you do as well. But there's over 500 other species of shark out there. They need some love too. But back to the topic of this video, and more importantly, the question I asked you at the beginning. Why do sharks rule the ocean? Let me paint two pictures for you. Scenario one, you're a fish on a reef and you come around the corner and see a pod of orcas or dolphins. Let's say 10 to 20 of them. How worried are you that one of them will come after you? If so, how much? On a scale of one to 10, let's say. Now, let's take a look at scenario two. You're a fish on a reef and you come around a corner and you see three or four sharks. Now, on a scale from one to 10, how worried would you be? Whatever your scores are, I'm gonna guess that the shark one is higher. Why? Because pods usually work as a unit and go for bang for your buck meals to feed the whole family. But any one of the three to four sharks could come after you, and you wouldn't know which one it is. Earlier this year on Shark Awareness Day, I made a video talking about how the shark is the spirit of the individual. That's because sharks are exactly that, individuals who make their own individual decisions. No, I'm not saying that members of a dolphin pod aren't individuals themselves with their own personalities. What I'm saying is that pack animals generally do things as a pack, within reason. While yes, some sharks do gather in large groups and sometimes spend time together. If one shark decides to go do X, however, it's usually only said shark doing X, while other sharks are off doing their own thing. 
Sharks, by nature, are more solo and independent, meaning they make decisions that aren't dependent on others. In this case, one might decide to go after you, the fish, and this lives rent-free in their mind. The fear of the shark is more powerful than the shark itself, and that is what keeps the food web in check. This is especially true for mid-tier sharks, or mesopredators. There is more of them than the apex predators, and like I've said before, most sharks are generalist predators. They take what they can get when they can get it. Thing is, sharks are superb hunters who are also silent and smart. The single fish hiding in the reef isn't worried about a pod of dolphins that it can see and hear coming from a mile away. They're worried about the solo shark they don't hear patrolling the reef. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why sharks rule the ocean. But we as humans get fixated on the fact that orcas have no natural predators and sometimes hunt smaller white sharks, makos, and other sharks. This is not to say that whales and dolphins are bad hunters. They're clearly great hunters with coordination and cooperation that have clearly lasted a long time. But they're not what the average ocean critter thinks about when they need to go out and get food or travel about the ocean. The ones who rule are the ones with influence. The one animals evolve and adapt to counter, and that's sharks. And most of them are not top predators. They're mid-tier predators. But who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for once again giving me some of your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.